Hey everyone, welcome to another video for I Love Infusionsoft. Today we've got our 17 point website checklist, which I'm really excited to talk to you about. We're not gonna go through all 17 points, but we are gonna talk about four really big ones that Tyler and I feel are really important. So why don't you start it off with uh, messaging and positioning? Yeah, so the most important thing when people get to your website is they can almost immediately determine that your website is for them that they can see what you offer and that it solves a problem that they have and it's for them personally. If they can't determine that within the first five or six seconds or so, they're out. They're just going to go back to Google where they were searching and yep. find something else that, that tells the story a little bit better. Yep. Next thing that I wanted to talk about is being above the fold. Now that's an old newspaper term, but above the fold is what you see when you first come to a website. You may be very familiar with that, but what happens is so many times people will put a call to action, they'll put a button on their page, and that button's in the footer or what they want the customer to do for the next step, they have to scroll down the page. That's not doing anyone any good, let alone you or your customer. And so you're gonna be losing traffic and you're gonna be losing opportunities if that's not right in front of their face above the fold when they start. Absolutely. What was the next one for me? Next one we're talking about uh -huh. mobile responsiveness and how important that is to websites. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, the thing is, Google and other search engines are giving high priority these days to uh, mobile responsive websites. They actually call it mobile first. They want you developing your website for mobile uh, devices first and then for desktop, which is kind of backwards compared to the way we used to do it right. in the olden days where I come from. <laughs> um, so you want to be taking that mobile approach and then they give high priority in the search results. So if two sites are the same when it comes to all other SEO factors, uh, the one that's mobile responsive is going to show up first and the one that's not mobile responsive is going to show up further down or maybe even not at all. And that's a pretty recent change, right? They've, they've slowly you know, started to do that, but it's become more and more prevalent as far as what factors into search results, right? Yep. Okay. Last thing that I wanted to talk about was we talked about call to action being below the fold, but we need to make it easy to buy. So maybe the call to action isn't, you know, buy this now, but maybe it's click here for a consultation. So if we're above the fold and it's a clear call to action that tells people what to do next, that's going to set you up for success. There's a lot more tips on here, um, but those, those four are really important to us. Yeah, and with the easy to buy thing too, if you're actually selling online, like e-commerce style, uh, you wanna make that checkout process super, super easy. Yeah. Um, no friction. Uh, you wanna have other people go through it because whatever you think is easy might be different for your audience. Yes. You know, if you built the site or you worked with someone to build it, it might seem easy to you, but then other people get to a point where they're like, wait, what do I do here? What's the next step? So yes. you just wanna make sure that that process is frictionless. So. Great, on, go ahead. On, on that, um, I can't tell you how many times, and you've probably had this as well, when I work with customers and they make changes like that, especially a bigger change about a checkout process, you said something about making it easy for the customer to check out. How can people determine if something's easy to check out or not? I think, you may think it is, but uh, you yeah, know, like not. I said, I think the best thing is to get other people to go through the process. Yeah. Don't tell them anything, just say, hey, go buy my thing, and then just watch them. And you'll see, like when they get stuck or whatever, they might look at you and go, hey, what do I do now? Okay. Um, and if they can go through it easily without any problems, then you're doing good. Also, maybe time them, see how long it takes to check out. Like if it's a laborious process, they have to put in way too much information or whatever, then that might be a sticking point too. So, well, great. Look, we want to give this to you. This is our 17 point effective website checklist. Uh, this is a checklist that everyone should go through when you're building a site, when you're thinking about rebuilding it, when you know that your website's not as effective as it should be, um, all those different things. So just click the button or the link on this page and you can opt in and receive this 17 point effective website checklist in your inbox. Thanks guys. Bye.